Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Fallout 4. Alright, when we left off, uh, it's been a while since I last recorded, and they've since come out with the update for survival. So, what we're going to do, because I hate fun, and I hate my life, but I love entertaining you guys with my pain... I'm going to turn on survival mode and in that way I will be forced to walk around everywhere and have to sleep to save. That's the only time I can save. This also makes it so damage I do is higher but the damage done to me is also higher. <laughs> it also has like a little I just realized that it had a little bit of a synopsis on the side there um, see the survival entry and help for details yep that's going to be a thing now because my pain is your entertainment as far as I'm concerned okay well you should probably look through that yep Saving only when you sleep, increase lethality, sickness, and fatigue, and more. We're going to look at that because I hate my life. <laughs> Is the struggle of this world merely a pleasant game for you? No, not, not really. <laughs> uh, do you long for a more brutal take on a life lived post-apocalypse? Well, I'm pretty sure the rest of the audience will agree that I should do that. If you answered yes and yes, then survival difficulty is for you! Survival appends many of the rules of life in the Commonwealth for maximum challenge. For full list, see below. Alrighty. Basics. Saving. Manual, quick saving, and most autosaves are disabled. To save your game, you'll need to find a bed and sleep for at least an hour. Survival makes it more challenging to keep yourself in top health and high spirits. Food and stim packs heal at a significantly slower rate, and you'll need to pay attention to your overall wellness by staying properly fed, rested, and hydrated. Yay. Fun. Okay. You now deal, but also take, more damage. You can increase the damage you deal even further with Adrenaline. See the Survival Combat and Adrenaline entry more for more details. There's going to be a lot of entries. It's going to take up half the episode. I want to read these, though, because this is this is the first time Bethesda has actually touched on this, rather than uh, Obsidian. So, <laughs> yeah. I want to make sure everything works fine, and I am not screwed over. I'm able to carry far fewer items, including ammunition and stim packs, which now both have weight. Your companions can still help you carry the load, but their capacity has also been decreased. Great. Which means I'm going to have to go all the way back to Sanctuary to drop off stuff. I hope it's not too much, because I have 370 pounds worth of stuff. Ah, adrenaline. Survival automatically grants the Adrenaline perk, which provides a bonus to your damage output. Unlike other perks, the only way to increase your rank of the Adrenaline perk is by getting kills, hostile or otherwise. The higher your Adrenaline perk, the higher the damage bonus. Sleeping for any amount of time will cause your Adrenaline rank to lower, taking your damage bonus down with it. You can check your current Adrenaline rank at any time in the perks section of... Perks... Sep I can't speak English... <laughs> I'm too nervous about survival. That's my excuse. <laughs> Perks section of the stat tab in your pit boy Finally, I could force the words out of my mouth. Be sure to keep your eyes peeled as enemies will no longer appear on your compass. The distance at which enemies of locations of interest will appear has been significantly shortened as well. Great. Fantastic. Both you and your foes are deadlier than ever, so don't expect to survive more than a few hits from most enemies. Good armor, reliable cover, and tactical thinking are critical. Two of those I lack. <laughs> In most respects. Choose your openings wisely to make the most of your own increased damage. Alrighty. 
The type of bed you're sleeping in determines the length of time you are able to stay asleep. A sleeping bag will save your game and may save your life when you're desperate. A mattress offers strong healing and can clear most of your fatigue. The comfort of a bed allows for a full night's rest and all the benefits that come with it. All right. You'll find it difficult to survive without taking proper care of yourself. You must stay hydrated, fed, and rested to remain combat ready. Going for extended periods of time without food, water, or a good night's sleep will begin to adversely affect your health, hurting your special stats, adding to your fatigue, lowering your immunity, and eventually even dealing physical damage to you. Which I've also heard apparently also happens when you're overburdened. Uh, if I remember reading correctly when this was all being hyped up, uh, this damages your legs if you're too overburdened. Now, yay. Fuck me, right? Because that's all I do, get overburdened. Ah, uh, boy. Fatigue mostly comes from being tired, but both hunger and thirst also affect it. Ra fatigue works like radiation, but affects your action points, rather than your hit points. The more fatigue you've built up, the less AP you've you'll have for actions like sprinting and vats. The amount of fatigue you've accumulated is displayed in the red on your AP bar. <sighs> Great. As, as, long as, as long as things don't fuck me up further, <laughs> more than this entire thing already will, I think I'll be fine. Maybe. Kinda. I don't know. Yet. Eating uncooked meat... So, basically what I don't do already. Okay, good. Uh, drinking unpurified water, which I do in a pinch. Uh, taking damage from disease-ridden foes, like feral ghouls and other animals. Uh, and using harmful chems. Oh, great. Fantastic. I can make myself sick with chems. Wonderful! All put your body at risk for... Well, at increased risk for various ill effects. When you're afflicted with an illness, a message will appear on screen. Appear on screen. That's the word that I meant to say. You can check the specifics about your current illnesses by navigating to the status section and pressing RB to view your active effects. Uh, whoops. That's... Die! Pit a wrong control stick. Now I have to scroll all the way down. I'm going to cut this out. Oh, great, a list of illnesses that I can deal with. Uh, insomnia, you get less sleep than desired. <laughs> great, I guess. That's what I live with already, so fine. All right, lethargy. Lethargy, whatever. Whichever way you want to pronounce it. Uh, your AP regenerates much more slowly. Oh, fatigue, you need to sleep more frequently. Yay. Parasites. It takes more food than normal to satiate your hunger. Oh, that's really bad. Weakness. Your body can't handle as much damage as normal. Oh, yippee. The uh, infection. You take damage as the infection spreads. Fucking great. Doctors can heal your wounds, cure your addictions, and banish diseases for a price. You can find a doctor in most major settlements, which we're going to head to after this, because right now I need to make it to Diamond City to sell all my shit that me and Dogmeat are carrying already. Ah! <laughs> this is going to hurt a lot. It's going to hurt my pride, my ability to think on the fly. Antibiotics, which can be crafted at chem stations. Nice. That's good. Uh, purchased from doctors or found in Mario in medical containers, not Mario the fuck instantly heal the various effects of illnesses nice so i can make those on my own probably key phrase i'll probably uh, i'll probably need the chemist perk for that so uh that's fun herbal remedies which can be crafted at chem stations uh low significantly lower your chances of developing particular illnesses that's good that is very good that will be nice Items that cleanse your body of rads come with the cost of making you tired and temporarily damaging your immunity, leaving you more vulnerable to illness than usual. Oh, great. So rad away is going to fuck me every time I have to use it. 
Whoa! I'm... I'm, I'm dying inside as I'm reading these. I hope you're aware. <laughs> Slower healing, which we're aware of. We know how that works. Uh, we have to deal with it in New Vegas with stim packs now. Um, crippled limbs. Will no longer auto-heal after combat and will remain crippled until healed by a stim pack. Okay, that, that's fine. At least that's better in New Vegas and where you actually need a specific different item to be able to do it. <sighs> All right, uh, companion healing. If your companion goes down during combat, you must heal them before they can get back up. If you leave the area without healing them, they will return home to recover. Fuck. That's what I remember hearing about. So, our stim packs are gold, as far as I'm concerned. I will use them sparingly on myself, but always on them. <laughs> And I will give them the best armor I can give them. Speaking of which, I hope that they change the values for the dog armor to actually make it worth something other than aesthetic for my dog, damn it. Okay, food and drink value. Looking at an item's value is a good way to determine how much that item will counter your thirst and hunger. Good. Uh, bonus effects, such as increased carry weight from Radstag Steak, which I love currently... I have too much of that. Will only apply if eaten when you are not currently hungry. Make sure to take care of the basics before eating your bonus. Eat before eating four bonuses. Eating your bonuses is also something you probably shouldn't be doing lightly. Uh, keep in mind, certain items may not give you the results you expect. For example, chems and alcohol dehydrate. Caffeine makes you hungry, etc. Caffeinated. Oh! You can actually get caffeine in you. Okay, cool. So I, that's that's my lifestyle in a nutshell. <laughs> Gives you a short reprieve from your tiredness, possibly buying you time to finish a fight or find a bed. Well, I'd hope so. Uh, weighted ammo. Great. Fantastic. I really hope it's not as bad as I want to assume they may have made it. <laughs> uh, yep. That's what I thought. Survival. Both you and your companion's carry weight have been significantly reduced. Exceeding your carry weight reduces your endurance and agility stats and periodically damages your legs and health. Think of your back. That's the way you want me to do it, game? That's the way you want me to think about my back? Let's, like, let's not kill myself. Carry weight for companions has been decreased. Companions will also no longer automatically get back up if downed. Yeah, we've already been over that. Enemy and loot repopulation. Locations you've cleared will now repopulate with new enemies and loot at a significantly slower rate. Because on the creation engine, it would repopulate after, I want to say, a week in game time. I want to say. I, I, I've never really looked it up myself. But... It would repopulate after a while, and you could go back and get loot that's either the same or different than what you got the first time you were around there. But now, it's a slower rate, so you can get loot at a significantly slower rate when you're relying on things like stim packs and blood packs and all that fun stuff. And strong back. Instead of allowing fast travel, with strong back rank 4, you no longer take damage from exceeding your carry weight. Oh! Yay! Great! Instead of the one thing that I would hope to have from Strong Back, I get something that won't kill me. That's good, at least. I guess. Okay. I'm now probably overweight. Whoop, up or not. I, I guess I didn't save when I changed the setting. Uh, I didn't. Okay. Okay, that's weird. Alright. Saving. Oh, okay. I, I hit the wrong entry. That's what I did. And now those are gone. <laughs> 
That's what I did wrong. I'm carrying too much. How much? Oh! Okay. <laughs> Alright. It added an extra hundred on top of what I'm carrying because I have so many stim packs and so much ammo. Great. And now I'm going to be periodically damaged while I'm trying to head for Diamond City. Oh, great. What, what's that little red pill mean? I, I gotta check that now. Uh, show effects. Over-encumbered. That's what it means. Periodic damage, agility minus two, and endurance minus two. Great. Well, I mean... Diamond City's over there. I guess I'm fine. For now. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What have I done? Is, is that actually the correct way? No, it's not. No, wait. Yes, it is. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. That's, uh... Swap to the sniper rifle. Because I trust its ability to handle long range incidents and enemies. Yep. Yep, that damaged me. You might have heard the controller vibrate because of that. Because it had to remind me that I fucked myself. Oh, great. Now it's giving me more things of what I already looked at. Hey, I'm not going to read that. You guys can read it if you want. We've already gone over it. Alright. So far, so good. We're next to... Diamond City. Now I just need to figure out which way I actually need to go. Um, to get to the front. I assume going around here shouldn't take too long. <laughs> Oh, uh, boy. I need to check how much weight everything has now. I, I should have checked that a little bit ago. Um, that's significantly smaller than I would have expected. Um, yeah. Fusion cores are a whopping four pounds, though. Yeah. That's going to be a thing. Four pounds per. And, of course, the mini nukes are 12. Because, of course, they are. Okay. And let's look at the stim packs. Because, at this point, I just want to make myself feel more sad. Point one. That's better than I expected. It's better than I expected. But worse than I'd hoped. Okay. Let's just make our way around. Because that's the only option I got. Because I can't fast travel it anymore. Uh, at this point, I might start cutting Fallout 4 videos. Simply because it might be too long to show you guys for some respects. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Someone save me from myself. Please. Ah! Okay. Onward I go. <laughs> it's the slowest pace possible. Uh, let's pop a stim pack into us, because it works. Oh, great! Parched from lack of water. <laughs> great. I didn't realize that it would have been that bad and that quickly. Negatively affecting your stats. How does it affect me? Intellect. <laughs> Minus one. Great. <laughs> Lovely. I love you, game. I love how you make me feel 
like murdering myself <laughs> every single day. Okay. What do we got? Um, so far, nothing's really showing differently. Um, endurance is down quite a bit, but I expected that. Um, how bad is everything else? Uh, currently can't tell. Uh, I can't really find the thing for food and water. Ow. Wow. I know they said it was slow, but I didn't think it was that slow. Holy shit. Oh my gods, that is slow. You gotta prepare your healing, like, days in advance at this rate. Holy shit. Oh my gods. That is awful. <laughs> Why would you do this to us, Bethesda? <laughs> Uh, uh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt me in so many ways. Oh, and more health depletion. Yay. Uh, oh, I love that song. So you got one of those fancy volt suits. Those one size fits. Pretty out. much. Oh, what we got going on here? What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here, crying out. Yeah, loud. you are. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Well. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out. Is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <gasps> I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really stuck, <coughs> Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in Oh, I see. You open this gate right now, Dan Oh. I live here. You can't just... She invoked the full name. She's mad. <laughs> I know you're listening, Danny. Yep. Open the gate. Apparently not working. Piper. That, is that your name? Oh. You want in the Diamond City, right? Like, yeah, uh, I want in. I just got here, but yeah, be great right now. Uh, what's that? You said you're a trader up from. Yeah, no encumbered to shit. You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? I'd say maybe. You hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal. <laughs> Give me a minute. I'd say possibly need to. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the Well, it's probably gonna be a lot quicker than you think. Okay. Uh, you first. You first. Wouldn't have it any other Fair way. enough. And now I'm tired from lack of sleep. Great. Ow. My health is way down. Who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate well. shut. You devious, rabble rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for Okay, long. I think I've walked in on something. It's not great. Shuts down the press. I like her style, though. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Uh, I support the news. Sure. Always believed in freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. Ow! You look like diamonds. You say that, material. and I'm overburdened. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money. Settle down. Uh huh. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? Uh. <laughs> you two arguing? What are you two arguing about, anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy. But if you print the truth. 
<laughs> Was there anything particular you came to our city? Uh, missing person. Let's go with that. I'm trying to find someone. Yeah. Trying to find someone? Who? Uh, my son. <gasps> my son. Yeah. Sean. He's less than a year old. Yeah. Wait, your son's missing? Uh-huh. Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? Uh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service. And some known to monkeys. One of our great citizens I bet. surely find the time to help. Because this is ridiculous sounding in every respect. And I can't quick save. I can't save scumness. Oh, fucking lovely. Who can help? Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, sorry, damn it. I don't have time for any more Damn it. Questions. Damn it. Damn it. Man. Enjoy your stay in our fair city. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates any kidnappings? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Fair yeah, enough. Talking, McDonough. That's all you're Ooh, that's a burn. Hmm, a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. Kind of. Also... Hurting. I gotta go get settled in. But, a lot. Um, stop by my office. Okay. Later. I have an idea for an article. You'd be perfect. Why does that tone of voice make me a little concerned? And I have a leg broken. Yippee! I got both from the look of it. Great. All that standing around did literally nothing for me. Okay. Let's pop a stim pack. There we go. Parch from lack of water. Great. Apparently, stim packs parch me from lack of water quicker than anything. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to end the episode here before I fuck myself up further. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And like watching my suffering. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about how much I'm suffering <laughs> in this hellish thing I've forced myself into. And I will see y'all in the next episode, whenever that may be. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and killing myself for you. <laughs>